Paris. So today we're going to talk about the short stories of The Cat Bed Seat by James Tober. Uh, as for the beginning, I will talk about the author's background. Uh, James Tober, or the real name of him is James Grover Tober. He is a host and an American cartoonist, authorist, humorist, journalist, playwright, and celebrated wit. He was the best known for his cartoonies and short stories published early in the New Yorker magazine, uh, which is the Catbird Seed, uh, and collected and collected in his numerous books. He was one of the most popular humorists of his time. Wow. Uh, as he celebrated the comic frustration and answered treaties of ordinary people. He wrote the Broadway comedy, The Male Animal, uh, in, let in collaboration with his college friend, and it was later adapted uh, into a film starring Henry Fonda and Olivi Olivia de Havilland. His, sh his short story, The Secret Life of Walter, Walter Mitty, has been adapt adapted for film twice, once in 1947, and again in 2013. Hello everyone, my name is Hazim and I'm going to present to you about the point of view of this story. First of all, the story The Cat Bird Seat by James Tobit is about a man named Mr. Martin that worked in the company called FNS. So he is very good and perfect employee for the company and he, he was very comfortable with his job until Mrs. Barrows was hired at that firm. So he believed that he believed that Mrs. Barrows is running the company into the ground and he was he was really mad at Mrs. Barrows due to Mrs. Barrows bad attitude toward him and this lead this lead Mr. Martin to murder Mrs. Barrows. But when when as soon as he arrived at Mrs. Barrows Mrs. Barrows apartment he doesn't have the guts to kill Mrs. Barrows. But instead of killing Mrs. Barrows, he pretended that he pretended that he was on drug and tell Mrs. Barrows that he want to kill their boss. He want he want to kill their boss, and Mrs. Barrows get mad and tell Mr. Martin to get out of get, get out of her apartment. So the next day, Mr. Barrows tell their boss about what what happened last night. But however, their boss doesn't believe Mr. Barrows due to Mr. Martin good record. So. After after Mrs. Mrs. Barrows protesting that she was not a liar, she was fired from her job and Mr. Martin went back to his daily daily routines. So the point of view of this story is is told from the limited omniscient point of view. This means that it is it is told from the third person and we can see into the thought of one character but no others. In this case the character who we see their thought is Mr. Martin. For example, we sit up to the sentence he wanted, as he did. So if they did not represent an unnecessary lot of strengths, so through this, through Mr. Martin talk from this story, we can see the deeper into into his personalities, such as there's there's a sentence in the story that said that Mr. Martin said to himself, he said to himself, I demand the death penalty for this horrible person. Through this point of view, the reader is shown how Mr. Martin is a much com more complex character than what we already talked. It shows how he perceived the world and how he has different side of his personality that people did not exist. From that center, we can see his, his hostile side. Okay, thank you. That's, that's all for me. My name is Ashin Mala and I'm going to talk about the theme of the Catbird Seed. One of the main themes in the story is the different role of gender, in this case that the reversal of roles between man and woman. In this story, the woman is the dominant character and the man is the real character, such is the case with Mr. Martin and Mrs. Algin Barrows. Uh, as example as stated in the story, Mr. Martin went over and sat beside with Mrs. Algin Barrows without raising any voice when she calls him. Mr. Martin feels difficult to get out a cigarette from the back of camel but he managed it. Then Mrs. Barrows had a match with Mr. Martin for laughing and give a drink to Mr. Martin. And then Mrs. Barrows said, uh, Mr. Martin is perfectly marvelous when Mr. Martin having a cigarette and a drink in his hand. 
the second team is the loneliness as i said uh, b- before the woman cat name was aljin bayos who are, who was a strong minded character and loves drinks and st- smokes and also loves to laugh but mr martin was quite person and don't like smoke and also prefers milk although the, both of the characters are seem similar but mrs barrows loves active social life and its outgoing personality helps her to to go to higher position in the fitness company furthermore the predictable and never changing lonely mr marty uh, estimated technique at his position which was the head of the fire department more than 20 years uh, and also he perfectly content with his job until mrs barrows appearance threatened his own security the last team was the use characteristic weapons as example at one night party mrs barrows rescue one elderly man whose name was mrs whitfeather who was uh, heavily drunk uh, mr whitfeather was uh, president of the fns company so she appointed mrs barrows as special advisor to him and also give a uh, complete control to her, to her so mrs barrows uses the power and the control to fire some workers in this com- in the intercompany thank you next i will talk about the purpose of this story so the purpose of any story is to reflect the author's message about life or the human condition but some stories are hard to entertain the others so the purpose of this story is is the the struggle of the middle aged man and woman to understand each other uh those who place the chitri to get what they want uh eventually will get uh will get back what he or she did in the past like mrs ujung baro did to mr martin which is he want to take take down the firm of mr martin itself uh but later on mr martin uh won and mrs ujung baro lost which uh which is her she will get fired because of her mental breakdown so the next one is the i'm going to talk about the characters of this story so there is four components of uh, characters which is main characters minor characters dynamic characters and flat characters as for the main characters of the story there is two of them with, uh, who is who are Owen Martin and Mrs Ogim Barrow uh, as, uh, next is the minor one which is Mr Fitwiller Fit and Joey Hart Next one is the dynamic characters who are the ghost dynamic characters is Mrs. Ogin Barrows and the flat characters are Old Robbers, Miss Spart, Miss Tyson, Miss Bundash, Miss Park Flat and Mr. Monson. So next I'm going to talk about main characters. Uh, as for the main characters there are two parts which is protagonist and antagonist. As for the protagonist which is the hero of the story uh, who is Erwin Martin himself. Uh what are uh Owen Martin characteristic is he is a loyal employee and always obey what the boss uh giving an instructions uh as for the evidence he has worked uh like about 22 years and became uh the head of the filing department uh he also a caring person which is he cares about how the department of his departments are uh, going on uh, and he doesn't like how Mrs. Ogin Barrow doing his job in his department so uh, he also doesn't drink and smoke but always drink milk in his office so next is about the antagonist which is like the opposite of the protagonist which is like a bad person actually so uh, the antagonist of the story is Mrs. Ogin Barrow Mrs. Jumbero is the type of person uh which is he, she is a domineering and egotistical person. Uh she is the antagonist because she secretly planning to take over or take down the Mr. Martin department. Uh that uh as for even she has fired some employees and caused some re- resignation of the others. Uh many of the many of the workers there doesn't like how Mrs. Ujin Barrow works in the department. Uh but Mr. Mr. Fitwiller has faith and give 
him the job to Mrs. Uldimbero. So the dynamic characters uh, is the character who undergoes some changes from the beginning to the ending of the stories. So as for um, uh, the dynamic characters of the story is Mrs. Uljin Barrow. Uh, she is a hardworking person towards the job that makes her to that encourage her to make a plan to take down Mr. Martin Department. But eventually after that, she having a, like a mental back breakdown because of too much work that caused her to have uh, mental illness which is hallucination and he, she became an allergic person. Uh, as for the evidence in the story, she had framed Mr. Martin she had framed Mr. Martin to uh, that he sh that Mr. Martin smoke and drink in a, in her house. And Mr. Martin talk bad about Mr. Fatwell, but Mr. M However, Mr. Martin denies that he doesn't do that, and Mr. Fatwell believes in his uh, in Mr. Martin. Uh, next uh, is the minor character of the story. Uh, the minor character is, uh, there is two minor characters in the story, which is Mr. Fatwell and Joy Hart. Uh, Mr. Fatwell is the boss of the firm. Uh, he is a good guy, and he always give a compliment to Mr. Martin because Mr. Martin is like a good worker. Uh, like uh, in the story said that, uh, uh, that uh, Mr. Fuwele, uh is saying that man is fallible, but Mr. Martin isn't. So as for the second characters, uh, my character is Joy Hart. Joy Hart is one of the Mr. Martin's assistants, and he he is giving the explanation of the saying of Mrs. Barrow, such as uh, "Are you sitting like a cabbage seal, like something like that?" So as for next is the flag characters. Flag characters is the, the characters that doesn't give any not much effect or like doesn't give any effect to the stories so the flag characters of the story is all Roberts, Miss Pert, Miss Tyson, Mr. Bundesh, Mr. Bartflett and Mr. Munson which is Mr. Martin and the antagonist which is Mrs. Barrows and we have the minor character which is Mr. Vetter. The settings took place at 1942 New York City uh, in a cigarette store, FNS cigarette store and the other location which is at Mrs. Barrow's apartment, which is at uh, West 12th Street. Now we go with the conflict. Uh, the conflict between the protagonist and the antagonist is which is Mr. Martin and about the special advisor which is Mrs. Barrows the method of her perspective of running the company now we get, go to the climax climax is Mr. Martin uh, does his everyday routine like always, which is get to the dinner, get scraps, drinks, and scrap shop. Uh, then he was planning to murder Mrs. Burroughs because he's not convinced about how, how she runs the company. And he tries to get 
far from any truth that he tried to murder. tried to use knife, tried to use knife to murder her, but things another way. He took the drinks with alcohols from Mrs. Burroughs and tried to speak, pretending to be drunk, and speak that. Miss Martin spoke that he hated Mrs. Wither a lot and tried to bomb his office and Mr. Wheeler off from the FNS company. And Miss, Mrs. Barrows get rid of him out of her house. And the other day, Mrs. Barrows reports it to Mr. Wheeler about the statement of the drunken Mr. Martin said. And Mr. Wheeler call upon Mr. Martin to explain what is this statement about and is it true. And Mr. Martin didn't admit he said that before. And Mr. Ritter was shocked and tried to invite a therapist to consult Mr. Mrs. Burroughs, but Mr. Burroughs ignore it and refuse, and he was getting fired from the company. And the ending is, finally, Mr. Martin get what he wants, and he's all alone on his work. And the language used is by the author is mm, figurative language, which they use a lot about uh, like the word rub out, the word the cat seed, which all are using the simile uh, method. That's all. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. My name is Q Xiang Hui and today I want to talk about the English thought story which is the bird cat seed. The pleasure setting for the bird cat seed is in the New York FNS where Mr. Martin works and where Mrs. Barrows get fired. Next is the cigar store on the Broadway where Mr. Martin bought a pack of cigarettes. The West 12th Street is where Mrs. Barrows live and is the place which Mr. Martin get caught by Mrs. Barrows when Mr. Martin get into her apartment. Next is Mr. Martin apartment, place where Mr. Martin had spent each night of the past few weeks working out his plan to rub out Mrs. Barrows. The Shroff on 5th Avenue near 46th Street is the place where Mr. Martin had his dinner every day. The next setting for the bird cat's head is time. Every morning at 30, Mr. Martin will reach the office and also every night at o'clock, Mr. Martin will reach South on 5th Avenue and finish his dinner and also financial patch of the sun at a quarter to night. Besides, Mr. Martin had spent each night of the past few weeks working out his plan to wrap out Mrs. Barrows. And the social condition for the Birdcat seat setting is a worker who wanted to eliminate his colleagues who stand in his way. Next is the mood setting for the bird cat seat. The mood of the story is a dark comedy. It's funny how Mr. Martin goes into a 
cigar store and buy camels like he has been smoking all his life. But in the end, he's only buying them in a plot to kill Mrs. Barrows, making it dark when it twists in the middle of the story. The tone for the bird cat seat is mysterious. Mr. Martin bought cigarettes in the most crowded cigar store on the Broadway without any of the FNS staff saw it and they will be astonished if they saw Mr. Martin bought cigarettes which means Mr. Martin never smoked.